all of that. Yay. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of vloggers recently, in general for my own entertainment, but also to steal some ideas. Or learn. <laughs> a few of them have advice on vlogging and what they say you should do or not to do and tips and things, but in general the general gist is just to go for it and just have a go and just not be scared about doing it. So it is me having a go and not be scared about doing it. I said this in the first vlog. I said um, that I'm going to vlog more and I haven't. So. <laughs> Well done me. But it's a new year, so it's a new project. I'm gonna commit to doing one video a week. I'd love to be able to do vlogging every day. You done cheaping? You're just gonna cheap away, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. Oh, nature, isn't it annoying? <laughs> I'd love to at one point in the future be able to do daily videos, but I just don't think I can do that at the moment and that I need to build up to it. And also that I can't be bothered getting dressed every day. I thought I'd start off by showing you where I create, where I work, where I do things, which is this room, spare room studio. Currently it's a bit of a mess though. I haven't set up my pedal since the last gig and I did the slide cover so I've still got a microphone not where it lives. And in general it's just not organised, for example there's still fairy lights on the amp. So I need to sort stuff, this mess needs sorting. I've got, I've got quite a lot there actually. Better get tidy in then. So welcome to my studio, spare room studio. I'll show you around, I'll give you a little tour. This is just some soundproofing that um, Dad made actually. And we decided to spray paint, there's a few of them around the room, but we decided to spray paint them and they came out pretty cool. This is my live gear. I don't use this microphone live much, but it goes with all of my stuff. This is my, with my foot. This is my um, TC Helicon Voice Live 3 with a Switch 6 and my Fishman amp currently under uh, dust proof things. Hello. This is my Fishman um, Loudbox Artist amp. It is lovely. It's got a really nice tone to it, just without any of effects at all. Oh, voila! <laughs> this is my um, voice live, complete with all my harmonies and reverb and delay and everything basically there you can see. If 10 switches wasn't enough I got an extra 6 just to be more complicated that's the switch 6 which is just an extra 6 switches that you can align any of basically any of the effects that you want here onto there. It's just really cool to be able to replicate the effects that you make in a studio in a live setting so all those things that you were able to do in a studio you can now replicate them live. I just really love it, it's fantastic and it's a really cool looking thing. <laughs> all of this, bar my amp of course, all fits in these fantastic bags, fusion bags. It's got everything you need. I will do um, a video on this at some other point, but there you go. This is my beautiful whiteboard when it goes into focus. 20 quid off eBay. I kind of brainstorm my ideas. These have been on there for a while, so I normally take a photo of them and then wipe them all off and kind of start again. Couple of ideas there. I've had for a while they're like working progress, but I don't know where to get from. Oh, don't know what to do next. Differ from my kind of live microphone. This is my beautiful studio microphone, which is a very classic shape and it's a Rode N1 TA, I think. Or any of those letters in a different order, that's what that is. It's lovely and it does the job and it's very nice. The only problem is that, and this isn't anything to do with it, but this mic stand that I've got it on, this little gear here is an absolute pain. Evil. I love these so much, they're beautiful. Um, and they feel wonderful and I just enjoy wearing them. They're so comfy, I love them. Anyway, they are plugged into, like, audio interface which also has my tannoy monitor speakers and then my computer which i'm currently editing something that you may know see soon <laughs> keyboard keyboard mouse phone over here is the pile of gig bags and cases this bit's kind of tidy because i use that a little bit more but um this well, to be honest, actually I put something down here and then they all fell over and then I just couldn't be bothered fixing them all again because they, they seem happy, they seem happy. This is my flute that I hardly play. Hello flute. Geeks bags wise, this is the case that I use for my baritone quite a lot at the moment. It's a hard case from Carla. These are my newer 
gig bags from Fusion. They're fantastic. I'll do a proper like review on them at some point. Hello, ukuleles. Glenn Miller record at the top. So this is Mr. Montgomery Blinkety. This is um, Baron Jarvis Fortescue. And this is Luna. Oh, little Luna. And there's my bass that I haven't named. Maybe I should name her. I'm assuming it's a her, I don't know. So that is it. Welcome to my studio and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I kind of wanted to show you where I make stuff. So this is where I make stuff. It does the job. I'm really happy with it. I quite like it. I like all my sandproofing. I think that's my favorite bit. And it was really fun spray painting them. Um, I definitely enjoyed doing that. I was possibly the best thing. I don't know which one my favorite is. I think it's the red one, uh, obviously, because I very much like red. You'd never know. That one and the Buffalo Gals one. So today I have been working on what my um, live sound will be, what my new set will be for 2016, since I don't want to be playing the same songs over and over again. So that means possibly new covers, definitely, 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 definitely new songs. Um, so I'm just getting what that sounds like with the help of my Voice Live 3. I'm looking forward to it and I'm hoping to see you throughout 2016 or in my next video next week. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Goodbye. Buffalo girls want to come out and I want to come out and I want to come out and I Buffalo girls want to come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon.